After being dumped on New Year's Day, which is two weeks before my birthday, I'm in my room processing this and pouting. Keyword! Pouting. When my mother walks by, opens the door and says, Oh God. If you're gonna cry over a girl, at least cry over a girl with her own hair. Slam! To which I reply, <laughs> Till so mom teaches me to spot the sleight of hand. Mahogany Brown often praises black girl magic. Magic is defined as an extraordinary power coming from a supernatural source. I watched girl made a California love tend to her hair like garden, unwrap strands from silk scarf cocoon that bloom, curl shaped petals, waters each with their own concoction made from lemon juice, coconut oil, avocado, and shea butter. I feel like I'm watching an alchemist convert wool into golden fleece. I ask, does this ritual ever make you feel like a wizard? She says, muggles wouldn't understand this magic. I see no illusion in her art. The closest I've come to understanding black girl magic is in the story of Henrietta Lacks. A black woman that had cells from her cervical cancer unknowingly donated to science and discovered these cells can be kept alive and grow. Now, a black woman living after her death, becoming the blueprint for cures after her death. What could be more magic than that? What could be more supernatural source than that to become known as the immortal cell line? Her name, race, and family aren't afforded the same luxury. Notice when in the name of science, like consent, and permission become a vanishing act when in the name of science, history will say donated when it means taken. History will say cultivated when it means stolen. History will say discovered when it means look at what we own now. By all rights, this should mean that black girls can be defined as a supernatural source for which extraordinary power is constantly being derived from. I know this to be no sleight of hand. When moments after my mother became past tense, I sat with my head on her deathbed apologizing for not being there. I'm sorry, became a mantra. My Incantation, my last ingredient to a spell I wanted to believe would bring her back if I just meant it enough years later. I made a girl conjured from sea salt and tonic and the things they say about her heard. She has slave ships reckoning said her path to America was an immortal line of outstretched, outstretched black palms from the Atlantic Sea, the Lord's work where she walks. Here, in an orthodox book of memory in her laugh, I taste the remnants of a spell she cast in the cauldron of black lipstick as I bestow the biggest honor I can think of and tell her my mother would have loved you. Because my mother is. Because my mother was.